Question 1. What is the primary purpose of the nursing process? Correct option C. Guide patient care. Question 2. Which step of the nursing process involves collecting subjective and objective data? Correct option C. Assessment. Question 3. A nurse observes a patient with a respiratory rate of 28 breaths per minute. This is classified as? Correct option B. Tachypnea. Question 4. The nurse is preparing to administer an intramuscular injection to an infant. Which site is most preferred? Correct option C. Vastus lateralis. Question 5. The nurse is prioritizing care for a patient with an ineffective breathing pattern. According to Maslow's hierarchy, this is classified as? Correct option C. A physiological need. Question 6. The term Molina refers to? Correct option B. Dark. Tarry stools containing blood. Question 7. What is the primary purpose of a nursing care plan? Correct option C. To set goals and interventions. Question 8. What is the primary goal of infection control in a healthcare setting? Correct option A. To prevent the spread of microorganisms. Question 9. The nurse is assessing a patient's fluid volume status. Which symptom indicates fluid volume excess? Correct option A. Hypertension. Question 10. What is the most appropriate way to measure a patient's core body temperature? Correct option D. Rectal root. Question 11. A nurse is using standard precautions. Gloves should be worn during which intervention? Correct option D, performing a wound dressing change. Question 12. The nurse is preparing to insert a urinary catheter. What is the most important step to prevent infection? Correct option B, maintain sterile technique. Question 13. What is the purpose of the Glasgow Coma Scale? Correct option A, to evaluate level of consciousness. Question 14. A patient is receiving oxygen therapy via nasal cannula. What is the maximum flow rate for this device? Correct option C, 6 liters per minute. Question 15. Which of the following is a key principle of nursing ethics? Correct option A, autonomy. Question 16. A nurse is preparing to administer a medication. What is the first step in the five rights of medication administration? Correct option B. Right patient. Question 17. What is the primary purpose of a pulse oximeter? Correct option B. To assess oxygen saturation. 
Question 18. The nurse is administering eye drops. Where should the drops be instilled? Correct option D. In the conjunctival sac. Question 19. A patient is experiencing dyspnea. What is the best position to promote breathing? Correct option C. Fowler's position. Question 20. What is the purpose of the Braden scale? Correct option B. To evaluate risk for pressure ulcers. Question 21. A nurse is teaching a patient about deep breathing exercises. What is the primary purpose of this intervention? Correct option B. To improve lung expansion. Question 22. A nurse is preparing to delegate tasks. Which task can be delegated to a certified nursing assistant? CNA. Correct option C, assisting with ambulation. Question 23. A patient is receiving a blood transfusion. What is a sign of a transfusion reaction? Correct option B, fever and chills. Question 24. The nurse is preparing to turn a bedridden patient. How often should this be done to prevent pressure ulcers? Correct option D. Every two hours. Question 25. A patient is at risk for falls. What is the nurse's priority intervention? Correct option B, keep the bed in the lowest position.